Hi, my name is Todd Merkel and I'm a product quality specialist representing AC Delco. I'm here today to offer a few tech tips that will help you and your shop minimize comebacks and maximize customer satisfaction. The first tip I'd like to discuss is diagnosing a fuel pump that doesn't run. Generally, we'd verify that there is system voltage and ground at the fuel pump electrical connector using a digital voltmeter, and if the voltage is correct, we would recommend replacing the fuel pump. But what if there's corrosion on the fuel pump relay contacts or the ground connection to the chassis? We might have enough voltage potential for our voltmeter to read correctly, but the circuit voltage might drop off when it's under load. How can you determine if the voltage drop is causing the fuel pump not to run before you sell your customer a fuel pump? The first step is to attach a small automotive seal beam lamp to the fuel pump power and ground connections at the fuel tank. We only need a couple of amps to load the circuits, so a small seal beam headlamp should do the trick. Be sure to use the correct mating terminals so you don't deform the terminals on the vehicle harness. Next, turn the ignition on and command the fuel pump on using a scan tool. Does the bulb turn on? If not, inspect for a poor connection or corrosion in the power or ground circuits to the pump and repair as needed. Now if the bulb does illuminate, does that mean that everything is okay? Not just yet. There's a couple of additional steps that will verify that the fuel pump circuits are operating properly. While continuing to command the fuel pump on and with the test bulb illuminated, measure the voltage between the battery positive post and the battery positive feed at the fuel pump connector. Your digital voltmeter will display the difference in voltage potential between the two points, otherwise known as the voltage drop. An acceptable voltage drop reading should be close to zero, but no more than one-tenth of a volt for each connection in the circuit. Next, measure the voltage between the battery negative terminal and the ground terminal at the fuel pump connector. Again, an acceptable reading will be close to zero, but no more than one-tenth of a volt for each connection in the ground circuit. You'll typically see two-tenths to five-tenths of a volt in a good fuel pump B-plus or ground circuit. If you measure excessive voltage drop, repair the circuits and verify proper fuel pump operation. Next, we're going to discuss repeat fuel pump failures. A common cause of repeat pump failure is debris in the fuel tank. The fuel pump strainer keeps most debris out of the fuel pump. However, technicians should visually inspect the fuel tank for debris and flush the tank before a new pump is installed. If the fuel tank contains debris, the new pump is likely to fail prematurely and bring you an unhappy repeat customer. To flush the fuel tank, first drain the tank according to service information procedures for the vehicle you're working on. Next, fill the tank half full with plain tap water and rock it back and forth to suspend the debris in the water. Then, drain the fuel and water mixture into an approved container. Repeat this process until there is no more debris in the water after rocking the tank. Remember to dispose of the fuel and water mixture in accordance with all applicable local, state, and federal laws. The last tip I'd like to share with you is about our AC Delco fuel sender card line. These handy components allow you to offer your customers fuel sender replacement at a very competitive price without the additional expense of replacing the entire fuel module MRA or modular reservoir assembly. However, these fuel sender cards were designed to fit only the original equipment MRA. If the MRA has ever been replaced, even with an AC Delco unit, the electrical connector on the sender card harness may not fit the MRA connectors. How can you tell if the MRA is the original equipment type? You'll need to gain access to the top of the MRA, then confirm that it uses a square electrical connector with two terminals on the bottom row and two on the top row. If it does, the AC Delco sender card kit will work. If the connector at the top of the MRA uses four terminals in a single row, the sender card kit will not work and you will need a complete MRA to complete the repair. That's all I've got for you today. See you next time.